Ravel is a four-star executor specialist. She's available from both headhunting and recruitment with the tags melee, fast redeploy, defense, and specialist. Keep in mind that using the tag combos of fast redeploy, melee, and or specialist may result in other operators. Gravel, real name Cinemy, has four years of combat experience, likely coming from her time working for the Adeptus Spardelli Casimirs and being a bodyguard for the Grand Knight Aoletta Russell. She stands 156 centimeters tall, was born on the 20th of January in Casimirs, and is of the Zalic race, specifically a prairie dog. In her archive files, it's noted that most would never believe Gravel is a knight until she tells them. There are also questions about her mental state due to the things she has said about the doctor, and that she also blushes extremely easily when excited or emotional. Gravel ranks as a level 4 knight, which is just barely mid-rank in the knightly hierarchy. The title of Knight of Casimirs, however, is a status symbol in itself making it hard to imagine why someone would stay with Rhodes Island. But supposedly, Gravel's reason is obvious to everyone. In Casimir's, knighthood has transformed from a noble title to a profession, with knights who perform spec ops missions such as Gravel being quite common nowadays. It's still rare, however, for someone like Gravel, coming from a modest, low-class background, to become a knight. She used to be a slave before working her way up the ladder of knighthood and doesn't hide the fact, leaving her barcode open for all to see. After receiving a code name, most ops at Rhodes Island answer to that rather than the real name, as the real name is something from the past that they'd rather leave behind. Gravel, on the other hand, divulges her real name to those she trusts, something she hasn't even done with the Casimir's family that employed and knighted her. Gravel is confirmed to be non-infected. She has a cell originum assimilation of 0% and a blood originum crystal density of 0.12 parts per liter. The notes in her medical file state that Gravel rarely comes into contact with originum. In her character art, drawn by Ryazaki Ichi, Gravel wears a tight-fitting white leotard underneath a small white breastplate with the Casimir's logo on it, radio headset on her ears, black zip-up hoodie with blue gray interior, barcode on her right shoulder, ripped brown thigh highs, knee high black boots, an infection monitor on her right wrist, and a pouch full of snacks hang by a carabiner and also attached with leg straps. She holds her two swords in both her hands, the swords being connected by a wire. In her voice lines, voiced by Rika Tachibana, who also voices Sei Kobayakawa in Idol Master, African Wild Dog in Kimono Friends, Super SASS and Mark 48 in Girls Frontline, Oasis in Grand Blue Fantasy, La Carabinière and August von Parsival in Azure Lane, and Lucia in Street Fighter V, Gravel craves attention from the doctor. <laughs>胸の<笑> カジミエシの騎士グラベルよ。よろしくね。ドクターに認めてもらえたってことよね。嬉しいわ。うん。何を見てるかって。あなたに決まってるでしょ。ドクターから求めてもらえるなら、私も強くなれるよう<笑> <私も強くなれるように頑張ってみるわ。笑> だって私がずっとそばにいるからやっと私のことが気になってきたの私はドクターのこと 
、最初からずっと気になって仕方なかったんだけどね。ドクターにはいつも世話になっているから、そうね。我がカジミエ主騎士の名のもとに、このご恩、必ず報いてみせま。ん違和感<笑>こう見えても歴史とした騎士なんだから、それっぽいセリフならいくらでも出てくるわ。誘拐されて、カジミエーシュに連れて行かれてから、こんなに優しくされるのは久々だわ。というわけで、ドクターが嫌じゃなければ、騎士の誇りに誓って、このグラベル。い,いえ、この背の身は、いつまでもお使いしますわ。At E2 Level 70, with Max Trust, Potential, Talent, and Module, Gravel has 1,980 HP, 452 attack, 395 defense, 0 resistance, a 16 second redeployment time, 5 DP cost, and has a 0 0.93 second attack speed. Her range is the standard range of a fast redeploy operator. At max trust, she gets plus 300 HP. At max pot, she gets minus 2 DP cost, minus 2 seconds to redeploy, plus 160 HP, and a buff to her talent. Her talent, Fast Deployment, is supported by Support of the Little at E2, and further upgraded at E2 Pot 4. Gravel gets minus 1 DP cost, and all units that cost 10 DP or less gain plus 8% defense while she is deployed. Gravel has two base skills, with one being unlocked at E1. Her first base skill, Focus Alpha, when Gravel is assigned to the workshop to process any material, plus 40% byproduct rate. Her second base skill, Metalwork Beta, when Gravel is assigned to a factory, presses metal formula productivity plus 35%. Gravel's first skill, Shadow Assault, is passive, requiring no SP whatsoever. At level 7, she gets plus 340% defense after deployment, with her defense continually decreasing to its base value over 8 seconds. At M3, it's plus 400% defense that decreases over 12 seconds. Her second skill, Rat Swarm, is passive, requiring no SP whatsoever. At level 7, Gravel gains a barrier that absorbs damage equal to 180% for max HP decaying over the span of 10 seconds. At M3, it's equal to 250% of her max HP, decaying over 10 seconds. Gravel has an EXE-X module named Covert Action Toolkit, which refunds 80% of her current DP cost when retreated. At module level 2, Covert Action Toolkit gives Gravel a new talent named Battlefield Vassal, which is upgraded at module level 3. When Gravel is deployed, she reduces the redeployment time of Casimir's Ops, currently on cooldown, by 5 seconds. To unlock and max out her module, you must have Gravel at E2 level 40, have 100% trust with her, complete 5 battles deploying your own Gravel at least 4 times in each, 3 star stage 4-8 deploying your own Gravel and allowing no Ops to be defeated, and have 3 module data blocks, 15 data patching strips, 5 data patching devices, 4 acutons, 5 coagulating gels, 6 grindstones, and 75,000 LMD. Gravel is your bread and butter when it comes to fast redeploy ops. Cheap to raise, cheap to deploy, cheap to max pot, a talent that makes her even cheaper to deploy, S1 and S2 that make her tankier, allowing her to draw fire away from your damage dealers and main ops for longer, and a module that gives you more of your DP back when you retreat her, on top of giving her a second talent that reduces the redeploy cooldown timer on Casimir's Ops, which are pretty much the main meta right now, especially with Uncle Mlynar. Downsides? If you want me to say something like, oh, she doesn't do too much damage and is fairly weak compared to other Ops, I question why the hell you're using her for anything other than bait for bomb drones, bait for drone summoning enemies, rocket launcher enemies, boss attacks, and to knock down those pillars in chapter 9 or 10. You deploy her, she gets killed by a swallowtail, and that's it. She should be one of the first stops you raise to max level E2 and get her module 
to level three. Because I guarantee you, outside of Myrtle, she will be one of your most used operators. Thank you for watching. Please follow my Twitter and Blue Sky for updates, and please check out my other Azure Lane and Girls Frontline videos as well. There will be a teaser out tomorrow for next week's character summaries.